Ugh. Uh, what's wrong? I'm so bored! Yeah, same. Ever since the stupid panini started, every day feels the exact same. Exactly! It's like I'm trapped in an actual nightmare! I'm stuck living in a house with Heath and Jackson, and all of my sanity is being sucked away! We should do something then. I'm sure we can come up with something fun, right? Ugh, I wish the movie theaters were open again. I'd love to just go disappear in the dark for a few hours with a ridiculous amount of popcorn and junk food. Hey, why don't we have our own movie night here? We could rent a few movies on the TV, get snacks, and hang out. It's better than sitting around scrolling through Instagram all day at least. Hmm, that doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Except the problem is we live with some of the most annoying people on the planet. I don't think Jackson would be able to sit through even 10 seconds of my favorite horror movie without straight up blacking out. And Heath? Well, that one speaks for itself. Who says they have to watch the movies with us? Oh, poor naive Claudine. You clearly haven't lived with us long enough to know that those freaks will force themselves into whatever activity we plan. Okay, then we just don't tell them we're planning anything. Well, there's no guarantee they won't find out anyway, but I like your devious plan. We might actually be able to pull off a Heath and Jackson free movie night. Woo! Girls movie night! This is gonna be great. Come on, let's go get snacks for later. We're gonna need an insane amount of popcorn and all the candy we can carry. I'm so glad everyone in this house has a massive sweet tooth. We've got quite the stash of junk food in this kitchen. I'm jealous you guys can even keep all of the stuff in the pantry where everyone can get to it. When I lived with my family, I had to hide all of my snacks or my siblings would get to them within minutes. Mmm, my mouth is watering already. I haven't had Twizzlers in so long. Ew, Twizzlers? Red vines are the superior candy. Are you kidding? Twizzlers all the way. All right, I think we've got enough snacks to feed a small army, so we should be all set for a movie marathon. Let's take everything up to my room. I have a TV up there, and that way we can lock the door so we don't get any unwelcome guests intruding on our movie night. Oh, hey everyone! Whoa, where are you guys going with all of that candy? Uh... Nowhere special. We just got, uh, very hungry. Oh, okay then. Would you mind if I share with you? I love sweets too, after all. Um, well, maybe later. Bye! That was strange. Okay, we've got enough snacks to spend the whole night up here, we've got blankets and pillows, and I have a TV and a Netflix subscription. Now all that's left to do is decide which movie to watch first. I say we start with something funny. Ooh, what if we watch something dramatic? Boo! No way! We start with a horror movie or you three can find another TV to watch your lame movies on. Well, horror it is then. That's right! This was a great idea, Claudine. Be quiet! The movie's starting! I've heard this film is so scary, it's actually sent people to the hospital. Um... It was a dark and stormy night, when suddenly... Ugh! We were just getting to the good part, now I have to pause the movie! What? Hey guys! Whoa! What's all of this? Great! There goes our top secret movie night! You're having a movie night? Without me? Yep. Oh, well I just wanted to come up here and see what all the commotion was about. I heard some weird noises. I was a little worried. It was just the movie. Well, good. How would you guys feel if I joined you? I would consider myself quite the movie buff after all. Ugh! Yeah, fine. You can join us. What? No, Cerise! This was supposed to be just for us, remember? Abby, it's fine. Frankie's not the one we have to worry about. As long as Jackson or Heath don't catch on to us, we can still have a fun night. I don't know if I should be offended by that, or... Just come sit down, you can watch with us, as long as you don't tell Jackson. But why not? I know none of you are Jackie's biggest fans, but he's such a sweetheart. He'd love to watch movies with us. You're pushing your luck, Frankie! Um, yeah. Besides, we're watching a horror movie. Jackson would hate this, right? I guess you're right. He doesn't have to be a part of this. That's more like it. Now can we please get back to the movie? I want to watch some people get murdered already! lesson she'll never forget. <laughs> oh my god. No way. Wait, what? That's it? That's the end? Nope. I refuse to accept that that just happened. Oh wow. So the murderer was one of them all along? Jeez, that was wild. Meh. You guys were actually scared by that? Are you kidding? I can totally see why this sent people to the hospital. Yeah, I think I need to lie down. That last scene was so graphic. You guys are lame. 
All right, on to the second movie of the night. What's next up, people? Uh, I might need a minute to recover from the first movie. That was intense. Fine, I see not all of you weaklings can handle my type of horror. I'll put on something funny next. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Hey guys! Jackson, what are you doing here? Hey, get out of my room! Does a closed door mean nothing to you? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bother anyone. I was just trying to find Frankie. I need to take my bedtime pills, but I need her help. Sorry, Jackie, I totally forgot to get everything ready for you. You have to help him take his own medicine? Yeah, I can't swallow pills by myself. I need Frankie to wrap them up in slices of cheese for me like I'm a dog. It tricks me into thinking I'm just eating a cheesy snack instead of taking pills. Um... Hey, are you guys watching movies in here? Yeah, wanna join us? Frankie! Frankie! Oh, sorry. I just thought since the horror movie was over, Jackson could join us now. Ugh. You missed the whole point! We didn't want Jackson to be a part of this at all. Oh, but I love movies! It's okay, Jackie. I want you here. Come on, this movie just started. You can totally join us. Um, no he can't. My room, my rules. Please, Abby. Come on, we'll just stay a little longer. Jackson's bedtime is soon anyway. Ugh, fine! But I'm holding you to that. Yay! Oh my god. What now? Who's there? What is everyone doing up here without me? If you're planning a surprise party for me, I demand to know what the theme is and which restaurant is catering so I can start planning what to wear. Um, what? What is it gonna take for us to have an interruption-free movie marathon? You're having a movie marathon without me? This is even worse than I thought! You know how much I love watching TV! Yeah, but you're also insufferable, and you're not invited. Oh, come on! Jackson's here, and you're saying I'm the insufferable one? Clearly this is not an exclusive event, judging by the combination of losers that are here, so I want in now! Scooch over, everyone! Why? Why does this happen to me? I know I'm not exactly a good person, but this seems like cruel and unusual punishment. Ugh, this movie is so boring. I hate comedy! Can we turn on Keeping Up with the Kardashians now? No. This is officially the worst movie night I've ever been to in my life. I am so missing the home movie theater that I had in my mansion right now. Well, you weren't supposed to be a part of this movie night, so I don't think you have a right to complain here. I'll complain if I want to. I love complaining. No kidding. Hey, can I pick the next movie? I've really been wanting to watch some of those old Barbie movies. I was thinking we could start with Barbie and the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and then maybe Barbie, Princess, and the Pauper after that? Isn't it past your bedtime yet, Jackson? Technically, yeah, but I'll pull an all-nighter if it means watching Barbie movies. Ugh, this was not our agreement, Frankie. Oh, I know, but Jackson gets so excited about his Barbie movies. Who am I to rip that happiness away from him? I say we watch movies all night if it's what he wants. This is officially torture. Hey, I have a plan. Now that everyone's followed us up here, we can sneak out and go turn on the movie downstairs. Pass it on. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, we're just gonna go grab some more snacks. Oh, good. Just hurry back. I don't want to be left alone with them. Yeah, sure. Well, this is just awesome. I've been banished from my own room. Hey, at least there's a TV down here. Now everyone else is distracted by the movie upstairs. Maybe they'll leave us alone and we can finish our movie night without any more interruptions. Yeah, except the whole point was to be able to lock ourselves in my room. Plus, I don't want to leave Heath up there. I don't like the thought of them all alone and unsupervised in my room with all of my stuff. It'll be fine. Heath wouldn't touch anything that isn't a designer brand with a 10-foot pole. And Jackson's weird, but mostly harmless. Frankie can probably keep him under control for the night, right? Ugh, whatever. As long as we get to watch another horror movie of my choosing. You know what? Why not? You've earned it. I just won't sleep for the next week. You've won me over. Ooh, I know of the perfect movie, too. I've heard you can only watch this on the dark web and it's been banned from all streaming services in the U.S. Oh, God. Ugh, when are the ghouls coming back with the snacks? I could really go for some more popcorn. Ugh, and I don't like being so close to Jackson! Hmm, they have been downstairs for a while. Ugh, I bet those jerks left me up here with you two. How rude. Why would the ghouls abandon their own movie night? So weird. 
Oh well, we can still enjoy the movie. Gee, I wonder why they left us up here! It's obviously because of you two! I'm out of here! Suit yourself! Hey, more blankets and pillows for us! Yay! Well, well, well! Just as I expected! You left me up there to suffer with Frankie and Jackson! You people are true sociopaths! Ugh. No, we just want to watch a freaking movie without being interrupted. Why don't you make like Michael Jackson and beat it, Heath? Fine! I can sense that my presence is not welcome here. I'll go binge watch Gossip Girl in my own room by myself! Yes, great plan. Please do that and leave us alone. Why haven't you been doing that this whole time? Ugh. Ugh! Okay, maybe now we can have a peaceful movie night. Well, maybe not peaceful with this movie, but I get your point.